My name is Amelia Collins, and I write this account with trembling hands, my heart heavy with fear and regret. It is the year 1864, and I find myself trapped within the depths of a chilling horror that has befallen Blackwood Manor, a place known for its dark secrets and eerie reputation. I am the governess of the Blackwood family, and little did I know that my arrival here would unleash an unspeakable evil. Blackwood Manor stands in the heart of a dense, foreboding forest, its weathered facade carrying the weight of forgotten years. The air hangs heavy with a sense of dread, as if the very trees whisper tales of the macabre. The Blackwood family, shrouded in mystery, has been plagued by a series of tragic events, the cause of which remains a morbid enigma. The children I care for, Thomas and Emily, possess an unnerving knowledge beyond their tender years. Their gaunt faces bear witness to the atrocities they have seen, their eyes haunted by invisible horrors. They speak of a malevolent presence that lurks within the shadowed corners of Blackwood Manor, a specter that feeds upon the living. As the days pass, my own sanity begins to unravel. Strange occurrences manifest themselves with increasing frequency. Whispers echo through the hallways. The sound of shuffling footsteps rings out in the dead of night, and objects move of their own accord. Doors slam shut violently, their impact reverberating through my trembling bones. Each night as I retire to my room, a heaviness settles upon my chest, as if an unseen force seeks to suffocate me. In the dim candlelight, I catch glimpses of a spectral figure, a gaunt woman draped in a tattered white gown, her visage twisted in an eternal scream of anguish. She glides effortlessly through the halls, her hollow eyes fixated upon me. The children's innocence wanes, replaced by a harrowing knowledge of the entity that stalks our every step. They describe her as the Lady in White, a tormented soul seeking vengeance for the horrors she endured in life. She is said to have suffered a tragic fate within the confines of Blackwood Manor, her spirit forever bound to its walls. Determined to uncover the truth, I delve into the dark history of this cursed place. The Blackwood family lineage is marred by malevolence, unspeakable acts committed by those who came before. The Lady in White, I discover, was once the wife of a Blackwood patriarch, driven to madness and betrayal by her husband's sinister deeds. Armed with this newfound knowledge, I confront the presence that has plagued Blackwood Manor for generations. I summon the Lady in White, desperate to release her from her eternal torment. But my courage wavers as she materializes before me, a grotesque, ethereal figure, her tortured screams resounding through the room. In that moment, I realize the true nature of the horror that haunts Blackwood Manor. It is not merely the vengeful spirit of the Lady in White, but the manifestation of the darkness that resides within each Blackwood descendant. The curse of their ancestors has tainted their very souls, forever binding them to this accursed place. Now, as I pen these final words, the malevolent presence closes in. The walls seem to bleed, the air turns foul, and the echoes of the past grow louder. I have failed in my quest to banish the darkness that engulfs Blackwood Manor. My soul shall join the countless others trapped within its grim embrace. To those who find this account, heed my warning. Avoid Blackwood Manor and the curse that lies within its walls. For in the shadowed depths of history, there are horrors beyond imagining, waiting to claim unwary souls like mine. Pray for our release from this eternal nightmare and let our tragic tale serve as a cautionary testament to the evil that lurks in the hearts of men. I shall not let my final moments be in vain. Despite the encroaching darkness and the impending doom that surrounds me, I am determined to leave behind a record of this harrowing ordeal. May my words act as a guide, a chilling testament to the terrors that dwell within Blackwood Manor. The malevolent presence, sensing my defiance, grows stronger. It thrives on fear, its insidious tendrils seeping into the very fabric of my being. The once familiar corridors have transformed into a labyrinth of despair, each step forward met with resistance from an otherworldly force that seeks to keep its secrets hidden. As I wander deeper into the bowels of Blackwood Manor, I uncover forgotten rooms, their doors creaking open with reluctance. Each chamber reveals a glimpse into the torment that has plagued this cursed abode for generations. Portraits of long-dead Blackwood ancestors line the walls, their eyes following my every move, as if imploring me to abandon my pursuit. But I refuse to be swayed. Determined to sever the tendrils of darkness that bind this wretched place, I uncover a hidden passage, an ancient gateway to the heart of the curse. A sense of trepidation washes over me as I step into the unknown, the air growing dense with an oppressive energy. Within the depths of the hidden chamber, I discover a decaying journal, its pages yellowed with age. It chronicles the wicked deeds of the Blackwood lineage, 
acts of unspeakable cruelty committed in the pursuit of power and immortality. It becomes clear that the curse that plagues this mansion is born from the insatiable thirst for forbidden knowledge, a darkness that corrupts the very soul. With trembling hands, I decipher a ritual inscribed in the crumbling pages, a desperate attempt to break the cycle of malevolence. It speaks of a sacrificial offering, a ritual to cleanse the sins of the past and bring salvation to the tormented spirits trapped within these walls. I gather the necessary items, my heart pounding with a mix of hope and terror. The hour of reckoning draws near, and the oppressive presence looms ever closer, its icy breath chilling the air. I prepare myself mentally, knowing that my own fate is entwined with the outcome of this final act. In the heart of the cursed chamber, surrounded by the ethereal glow of candlelight, I perform the ritual. The incantations resonate through the stale air, the words an invocation of redemption and release. A surge of energy courses through me, intermingling with the dark forces that have long held sway over Blackwood Manor. Suddenly the room convulses with a violent tremor. The walls groan under the weight of centuries of despair, and the very foundation of the house seems to crack. A tempest of anguish engulfs the chamber, the tormented cries of the spirits echoing in a symphony of liberation. In a blinding burst of ethereal light, the curse is shattered. The evil that plagued Blackwood Manor is expelled, leaving behind a profound stillness, a silence that reverberates with the collective sighs of souls finally at rest. Exhausted but relieved, I stumble out of the chamber and into the dimly lit hallway. The mansion feels different now. A melancholic serenity fills the air, as if the weight of its dark history has been lifted. I gaze upon the portraits of the Blackwood ancestors, and for the first time, I see a glimmer of humanity in their eyes as if the curse that tainted their souls has been cleansed. My purpose fulfilled, I make my way towards the exit, knowing that my time within Blackwood Manor has come to an end. As I step out into the moonlit night, I take one last look at Blackwood Manor, its silhouette blending with the surrounding shadows. The forest watches me, its ancient trees whispering secrets of the past. Though I have played my part in breaking the cycle of darkness, a lingering sense of unease accompanies me. Months pass and life moves forward, the memory of my time at Blackwood Manor fades into the recesses of my mind, buried beneath layers of mundane routines and fleeting joys. Yet on stormy nights, when the wind howls through the eaves and rain pelts against the window panes, a chill runs down my spine, a reminder that evil, once unleashed, can never truly be erased. The tale of Blackwood Manor becomes a whispered legend, shared by those daring enough to delve into the shadows of history. Some dismiss it as a mere ghost story, while others sense the grains of truth concealed within its haunting narrative. And so, the legend lives on, serving as a cautionary tale of the consequences that befall those who dare to seek power beyond mortal comprehension. As for me, I carry the weight of that experience within me, a constant reminder of the fragility of human nature and the enduring presence of darkness in the world. The horrors of Blackwood Manor have left an indelible mark upon my soul, a scar that serves as a reminder of the boundaries between life and death, sanity and madness. And as I recount this story, a final plea emerges from the depths of my being, a plea that those who encounter the remnants of Blackwood Manor with its tragic history and lingering malevolence proceed with caution. For the forces that reside within its walls are ancient and hungry, waiting patiently for unsuspecting souls to wander into their grasp. May my account be a testament to the chilling horror that unfolded within the 1800s of the United States, a reminder that evil can manifest itself in the most unsuspecting of places, and that the sins of the past can cast a long, dark shadow upon the present. Let it serve as a warning to those who dare to unearth the secrets of forgotten realms that some mysteries are better left undisturbed. And now, as the ink dries upon these pages, I release this account into the world, in the hope that it may serve as a cautionary tale, a testament to the horrors that can unfold when one delves too deep into the darkness of the past. May those who read these words be forewarned, and may they tread carefully upon the haunted paths of history. In the years that followed, the tale of Blackwood Manor continued to captivate the imaginations of those who stumbled upon its eerie legend. Many dismissed it as mere fiction, while others embraced it as a chilling reminder of the fragility of the human psyche. Yet there were a few who dared to dig deeper, driven by an insatiable curiosity. They sought out the remnants of Blackwood Manor, determined to uncover the truth that lay hidden within its crumbling walls. 
They ventured into the depths of the forest, their steps guided by whispers of a long forgotten evil, and then, one by one, they vanished without a trace. As the years turned into decades, the legend of Blackwood Manor evolved, taking on an even darker and more sinister tone. Rumors spread of an otherworldly force that guarded its secrets, ensnaring those who dared to disturb its eternal slumber. But the truth behind Blackwood Manor remained elusive, its secrets locked away, waiting for the perfect moment to reveal themselves. For you see, the curse that befell Blackwood Manor was not simply a haunting or the work of vengeful spirits. It was something far more sinister, an ancient entity, hungry for souls, patiently biding its time. And now, dear reader, as you reach the end of this account, a shiver runs down your spine, for you have unwittingly stumbled upon the truth and the insidious presence of Blackwood Manor seeps through the pages, its dark influence infecting your thoughts. Beware the shadows that dance at the periphery of your vision. Listen closely to the whispers that echo in the stillness of the night, for the horrors that once plagued Blackwood Manor have found a new vessel, the pages upon which this story is written. And who knows, dear reader, perhaps you will be the next to venture into the depths of the forest, drawn by the allure of forbidden knowledge. Will you resist the call, or will you succumb to the insatiable hunger of the ancient evil that lurks within the words you have just read? The choice is yours, but remember, once you step into the realm of Blackwood Manor, there is no turning back.